So what experience does an IT manager need to have? So the experience that an IT manager needs. Now this video goes into some very high level stuff. We're gonna just dot off a number of things that I think are pretty essential, pretty important. If you wanna go into a lot more detail, I've got a full length training online course down below in my description, you can check that out around moving from tech to IT manager. I know that you will find it helpful. So now one more thing is that when we're talking about IT manager, we're just encompassing a lot of different responsibilities that are across different IT manager roles because you can have an IT manager, but you can also have an IT ops or an operations manager, an infrastructure manager, you've got development managers, service delivery managers, you've got security managers, different sorts of IT managers, for different expertise, different skills, right? So we're just sort of using the term IT manager in general. And a lot of this stuff that we're gonna be talking about is sort of true across different IT manager types. So as an IT manager, you are responsible for everything. You need to know everything, or at least people will expect that you know everything. If you're working your way up from a systems admin, from an infrastructure perspective, you're working with servers and storage and things like that, or if you're working your way up from development into an IT management position, you're gonna have different skills. The IT manager, in a way, needs to be a jack of all trades. You need to be across a lot of different technologies. So I recommend that anybody who wants to work into, like work their way into IT management should know a lot of stuff. You don't need to know the detail. You don't need to know the specifics and go into a lot of detail, but you at least need to understand the higher level overview on a lot of these technologies. If you don't know what you're talking about, then you're gonna struggle as an IT manager. An IT manager is gonna write proposals, you're gonna write business cases, you're gonna be in meetings with non-technical people, with technical people, with a range of different sorts of people, and you need to know what you're talking about. If you don't know what you're talking about, you're not gonna get stuff done. Be up to date with what is going on in technology. So you're gonna be talking to customers, to stakeholders, to your staff, to vendors. You're gonna be running meetings. You need to be a good communicator. You need to learn how to talk how to talk well, how to translate things in a technical speak to a non-technical speak. That's something that's so important. You've maybe come from a technical background, a strong technical background, but now you're dealing with people, senior positions in a lot of the time, you're dealing with vendors as well, and some people are not gonna be technical. So they expect you to learn how to translate that into a non-technical form. So be a good communicator, listen, give them the confidence that you are there to help because you are. Be approachable, be understanding, be positive. IT managers, of course, may be people managers. Depends on a small, medium or large business, an IT manager is gonna be responsible for IT staff. So you're gonna know how to manage people. Don't be just a manager, be a leader. You're gonna be working with them, you're gonna make sure that you are their mentor, their leader, you're gonna kick them up the butt when they need it. You're gonna make sure that they're doing their job correctly. You're gonna do their performance reviews. You're gonna talk about pay with them. You're gonna approve their sick leave. You are a people manager now. IT managers need to be good at report writing. They need to be good at writing policies, writing procedures. So good, in my case, English, but be good at written and oral skills. In my case, English, be good at written skills. Have good grammar. You're gonna be writing reports. You're gonna be writing proposals. You're gonna be writing policies. People are gonna be seeing this. Technical people are gonna be seeing it. Non-technical people are gonna be seeing it. You're gonna to need to propose things and approve things and negotiate things in written form, in reports, in emails. So be good at writing, good at time management, good at managing multiple tasks at once. Now, if you've come from a tech background, you're probably already familiar and very, are comfortable with managing a lot of stuff because you've had to manage a lot of stuff as a tech, right? You're managing servers, you're managing networks, you're managing storage, you're managing all of this sort of stuff all at the same time. Nobody has time. If you do not make time, you'll never have time. If you're not organized, you're gonna be disorganized. I recommend that you improve in this, in this space. As a manager, there is a lot more on your plate. You are responsible for a lot more. You're not just technical now, you're now dealing with stuff that's pretty big picture, pretty high level, strategy stuff, roadmap stuff, a lot of things. People are seeing you as the face of technology. Now you set the stage, right? The IT manager needs to set the stage around the strategy of the, uh, of the department, of where IT is heading, the roadmap, writing roadmaps on what the next 12, 24 months look like, working closely with the business to understand their needs, 
working close with your technology people to understand what they need and that they had the right skills to be able to create the right strategy for your development in the business. You wanna be able to propel the business forward. You want the technology team to not just be stagnant and just be one other member of the organization, but actually be somebody who is on the forefront recommending technology solutions that will actually help them to be more productive, to cut costs, to get better sales, all that sort of stuff. You're gonna be dealing a lot with vendors, writing proposals, be good at negotiating. You're gonna be talking about money, so learning about IT budgets. The IT budget will be the responsibility of the IT manager, so that's a good skill to know, is understand how to make a budget, how to budget for everything, OPEX, CAPEX, the cost of things, the monthly cost, the annual cost, when a renewal's due. You have an IT team internally that you need to manage, but then you've got your external vendors, your external suppliers, all these people that are gonna give you equipment, give you services. Maybe not all of your IT is in-house, you have to outsource some things. So you're gonna be dealing with contracts, service agreements, statements of work. Now, of course, because you are the IT manager, you are responsible for everything. You know, you're not only responsible for the strategy and the big picture stuff, but you're responsible for the BAU, for the business as usual, for the basic IT operations, for the infrastructure, for the security. So you wanna make sure that everything is running healthy. If you have a team of technology people, if the IT manager is responsible for people, they need to be doing their job. Of course, they need to make sure that the systems are running correctly, et cetera, et cetera. But you are the one who's ultimately responsible for making sure that they are doing that, for making sure that the right systems are in place for you to ensure that your systems are secure, that they're running healthy, that they're hacker proof. Documentation is huge. IT policies, disaster recovery plans, making sure that all the tech docs are done, projects, you've got project management plans, you know, PMPs, you've got timelines, you've got all of this. There's documentation that's gonna be coming out of your ears. So if you are a tech right now and you are not good at writing documents, if you're not good at keeping track of assets, you need to know that because as a tech, you should already be doing some of that stuff anyway. But as an IT manager, the IT manager is now responsible for writing all of this. A new staff member joins the IT manager's team. You should be able to be confident to say, read all of this, and when you finish all of that, you'll have a good understanding of everything there is to know about managing the IT systems in this organization. But it'd be a waste of time to have that person sit down with somebody for weeks and weeks to sort of understand things. If they had documents written, if they had policies written, if they had procedures written, and it ensures that they get up to speed a lot quicker. And as I said at the start of the video, you can also check out my full training course, my online course below in the description, moving from a tech to a manager. Do what you need to do on the social medias by liking, commenting, subscribing, clicking on the face over there. Check out also some of my other videos there so that you don't miss out on all things tech.